the amazing 2024 Sanjiang Torres EDX Rugged Electric SUV. KG Mobility, the company formerly known as Sangyong has detailed its latest fully electric SUV in its home market of South Korea. The Torres EDX is the anticipated next-generation EV from the brand, which has undergone a significant overhaul in the last few years. Slightly larger than its direct rivals, like the Hyundai Kona, Kia Niro, and MG ZS EV, the Torres looks to compete with cars in the same size bracket as the Honda ZRV and Nissan Qashqai, with total dimensions coming in at 4,715 mm long, 1890 mm wide, and 1,735 mm tall. After a long teaser campaign, the brand's Korean division has released details of the model. The Torres EDX will pack a 73.4 kWh battery pack good for a 433 km combined driving range, and interestingly, will use BYD-style blade battery LFV cells in its construction. It is front-wheel drive only powered by a 152 kilowatts per 340 newton meters electric motor combined efficiency lands at 20 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers on the outside the evx has a completely different look from its combustion equivalent with a filled in bumper and an integrated set of led drls to replicate the look of a slotted grille in reference to the earlier generation Sangyong Corando models from where it descends. These are matched by a set of LED headlights and LED fog lights. Square lines end in upright LED fittings at the rear, and a bump on the tailgate to reference, where a full-size spare might once have been. Meanwhile, the EVX swaps out the standard wheels for a more sleek set of aerodynamic alloys. Inside the EVX features a panoramic display consisting of two large widescreens for the digital instruments and multimedia panel, while a standard shift lever has been swapped for a small shift by wire toggle. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connections are available via cable. A floating center console design frees up storage space in the cabin while the Torres makes use of the brand's latest multifunction steering wheel design. In the rear, the EVX features integrated window shades, tablet holders in the backs of the front seats, and heated seating is standard in all but the center rear position. Boot space is acclaimed 839 liters, although this appears to be to the more lenient SAE standard rather than the more widely accepted VDA standard making it difficult to compare to rivals. Regardless, KG Mobility says the EVX is designed to satisfy all areas of daily life and expanded outdoor life and features 175 millimeters of ground clearance to go with its chunky, almost Subaru-like styling. It also features vehicle-to-load tech, allowing owners to power external devices via its charging port thanks to an included V2L adapter. Safety features include a suite of eight airbags including a center airbag, auto emergency braking, lane keep tech, blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert, as well as adaptive cruise control and a 360 degree surround monitoring system for parking. The EDX is said to charge from 20 to 80% in about 37 minutes on a 200 kW connection, 9 hours from 0 to 100% on an 11 kW AC connection, or about 30 hours on a home wall socket. It is unclear whether Australia will see the fully electric version of the Taurus, although the combustion version, powered by a 1.5-liter turbocharged four-cylinder unit, 125 kilowatts per 280 newton meters has been confirmed for an Australian arrival toward the end of 2023 or early 2024. KG Mobility has also previewed an expanded electric range including a UDA, large SUV, 
and small off-roader at the Seoul Mobility Show, and is reportedly looking to deepen its ties with BYD by building a new battery factory in Korea together with the Chinese EV giant.